Hi everybody, I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I just wanted to show you another verse of scripture today. Probably one of the most famous passages of scripture in all the Bible, Psalm chapter 23. David says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But I really want you to focus your attention on verse number four of Psalm 23. The Bible says, I'm reading from the New Living Translation, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. I like how it brings that comparison between the rod and the staff. I want you to see that today. The rod and the staff are two completely different things. They're not the same. And so when you look at the way God brings that out in this verse to the believer, you've got to understand that the rod is there for your protection. And a shepherd who takes care of a flock of sheep, the way the Bible is saying God takes care of you, he carries that rod in case anything evil would try to come in and harm the sheep. That's when the shepherd steps up with the rod of authority and beats off anything that would try to kill the sheep. But the staff is a completely different thing. If you've ever seen a shepherd's staff before, you've probably noticed the long crook on the end of it. It was used in case maybe a sheep had fallen, broken its leg and couldn't move or fallen down into a little valley or ditch. The shepherd would just take that staff and wrap that crook around the body of the sheep and drag it back up the hill into the sheepfold again. I want you to see that. By God's grace and his favor, he uses his staff to comfort you and his rod to protect you. Even when you feel like you're too far out of the will of God where you can't do what God's called you to do, remember his staff is comforting you and the power of the Holy Spirit will always draw you right back in to what God wants to do in your life. The power of God is bringing you into the greatest days you've ever seen. Don't ever forget it. Don't forget signs and wonders, goodness and mercy. They'll follow you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next time.